Hey everybody, it's Doug Schauff with the Make Maine Your Home team over at Remax Oceanside. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about home improvements uh, for seniors. Just a couple things you can do to make your life better. So let's do this. All right, everybody, uh, like I said, we're going to talk about some uh, home improvements you can do uh, for the aging population, for seniors, kind of make your life a little bit better, maybe make the home that you're in last longer for you, you know, so you don't have to move out to something new. You know, if you're looking for some ways to make your, your current house better for you, here are some great tips. So I'll jump right in. First thing that we want to talk about is just like installing a few things around the house, like grab bars, you know, handrails, things like that, that just make it easy. You know, we often see things in like the, in the bathroom you know, in the, in the tubs and stuff like that, like the handrails that you can install um, in like the showers. If you have a, like a walk-in type shower, you can, you know, have like a seat in there. There is a website out there. I believe it's uh, caring.com. You can do lots of great research on like these tubs that you can walk in. Uh, they really make these awesome tubs. I've seen them before where they're, they're pretty high and then there's like a door on it. So you kind of walk in, close the door and then, you know, fill up the tub type thing. Just really overall, just kind of installing like handrails in the, in the, the areas where um, you're going to need them, you know, and of course, make sure the handrails going up any stairs are nice and tight coming in the house, you know, even though if there's maybe one or two steps in from the garage, again, making sure there's like one of those, you know, good handrails there to use. The bathroom is always probably the most difficult, uh, you know, room in the house to do these types of improvements. Uh, but again, those handrails and seats and things like that can really go a long way. If you're looking at doing like a bathroom remodel, you know, sometimes taking out the old stuff and redoing it, you know, making maybe making a walk in shower, you know, you could do like a built in seat there, add the grab bars and, and rails in there by doing it that way. If if your bathroom is due for an update, maybe that's a good thing to, to look at um, and, and start doing a great upgrade with this conversation is upgrade your lighting you know, really anywhere in the house, you know, as, as we get older, we all need our glasses and things like that. We like things to be bright so we can see them and upgrading your lighting. These, like a lot of the newer light bulbs and like the led lights and stuff like that, they give you a nice bright white light, really bright. <laughs> you know, you can use, put dimmers on them too. You know, like if you really need to find something, you know, flip it up, flip it down when you don't need it. Uh, but upgrade your lighting, uh, just to make it easier on your eyes to be able to see everything, especially if, you know, things on the floor and stuff, making sure that, you know, if, if the lights shining on them on everything so you know you can watch out for that because trip hazards of course is a big deal um, so upgrade your lighting is a good thing to do in any house really but of course as we age you know we're going to need better light the other thing we have here is, is um, improved accessibility if mobility is an issue uh, with you or if you have any kind of surgeries or something like that, you know, installing ramps to get in the house. Um, you know, if you're going from the garage to the house, again, ramps, you know, are a good way to do it. If you need to widen your doors, you know, unfortunately, if you had a surgery or something happened where you need to be in a wheelchair for, you know, any kind of time, you know, you can put in 36 inch wide doors or even bigger, you know, you could check the specs on everything, but typically a 36 inch wide door will get, you know, just about anything in it. And you can swap out your doors and add that extra space. It's a little more complicated than just a quick swap because you got to widen the opening and things like that. So it's a little bit of a project, uh, but could be well worth it, especially if it's a, you know, a house that you're like, hey, I want to stay here as long as possible. That could really benefit you as opening those doors. And then it's going to be easier. To, and then and then you can add ramps. Like if you have a garage, I've seen some people, you know, depending on how much of a ramp you need, you know, I've seen people like take up almost one, you know, if you have a two car garage, take up one bay of it and just add like a big ramp, you know, so you can get in on the front door, you know, off the I'm sure you've been driving down the street and you see a big ramp out the front door just so you can get in. Pick an entryway that you can, you know, add some good accessibility. And then inside the house, if you need the wider openings, you can, you know, open up the interior doors too. And that also might be if you think you're going to need those things in the future, you know, you can look around the house and see what you are going to need to, you know, widen. You might not be able to, which unfortunately then you got to look at maybe making a move. Uh, but if there, if it is, a house where you can widen those doorways and make it easier for you to get around. Um, that's a good, those are good improvements to do if you need them. Um, the only other note that I had here was like uh, chair lifts and elevators and things like that. 
chairlifts to get upstairs. You know, if you don't have a bedroom on the first floor and if it's getting very, very hard for you to get upstairs, you can install those, you know, those lifts where you sit in the chair and it takes you up the stairs. There's elevators out there now. I haven't done a ton of research on elevators, but I have recently had a couple people asking about them and I believe they're becoming, I don't want to say inexpensive, but reasonably priced where you can put an elevator in. I think it's one of those where it's like the system is on like the outside of the house. So you just have to create a, you know, entryway through the wall, of course, and then it goes up and down that way. So those are things that you can look into uh, just to make your current house uh, better for you. Those are some home improvements we recommend if you're, you know, aging and you feel like you might need to do some updates to your house. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, comment below. Hit us up in any way you want. And remember, if you make me in your home, you don't have to do it alone.